Tonight we have got team coverage for you on campaign 2020. CBS 46's Sally Sears is giving us a rundown of the races to watch. But first, what will be different about tomorrow? Our Haley Mason joins us live to tell us what we can expect as we head to the polls. Haley. Let me just give you a quick snapshot of the numbers. More than 1.2 million people in Georgia have already voted early, both uh, by absentee ballot and coming in to vote early. That is more than the people that voted in 2016's general election total. Tomorrow, state officials are expecting about 250,000 people in our area to vote, and they're expecting lines to be long using this new paper ballot system. State election officials are asking voters to pack their patients when they head to the polls tomorrow. But given the constraints of COVID, there will be realities we will have to be facing. There will be lines. This is a new voting system. There will be a learning curve for both election workers and for voters. All of this will take time. We caught up with some people dropping off last minute absentee ballots at drop boxes across Metro Atlanta. Yeah, it was much easier. Just glad that I was able to get the absentee ballot in the mail on time and I could drop it off here. Others say it wasn't so easy because their ballots came weeks late. Some not at all. As it turned out, it was a lot more trouble than we anticipated because we didn't get our ballots to Friday and we were out of town over the weekend, so we were filling them out Sunday night, and here I am putting them in at the very last minute. The Secretary of State says some ballots may still come in your mailbox tomorrow. If you applied for one, voters must still complete them and drop them off before 7 p.m. on primary day Tuesday. If you do not get your absentee uh, ballot uh, by tomorrow, please show up and go ahead and, and vote in person. Uh, but you can vote. Uh, they will check you off the system that and uh, disallow that and nullify your absentee ballot, whichever in the process, and then you can vote in person. If you're voting in person, expect longer lines, social distancing, fewer voting machines, sanitizers, and voting using a stylus pen to avoid touching the screen. Voters are encouraged to wear masks if you can. And if you got your absentee, your absentee ballot, rather, you have until 7 o'clock tomorrow to drop it off in a drop box like that. There's a list on the state's website in addition to some locations listed on our website as well. In addition to long lines, if you're showing up in person, expect to have results released later. The Secretary of State tells us that with these new paper ballots, it's going to take longer to tally those votes and they will not release any results until every precinct is closed. Reporting live in Northwest Atlanta, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.